So before we look at a matrix that will allow you to rotate by any angle about the origin, we're going to look at some special ones first. So we're going to start off with this diagram here. So I've labelled the points 1, 0 and 0, 1. And we're just going to think about how we could rotate these points around. Because we know that if we're just going to remain static okay, and not change anything, then our matrix is the identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1. These points will remain where they are. So we can work out the rotation matrix just by following where these points go to. So let's say that I rotated by 90 degrees uh, anti-clockwise about the origin, say. Okay. So what would happen is that this point would go and be mapped onto this point here. And 0, 1 would be mapped onto this point here. OK, so from those two points round to these two points. So the point that was at 1, 0 would now be at 0, 1. OK, and the point that was at 0, 1 would now be at minus 1, 0. And so this must represent a rotation by 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. So rotation by 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. OK, and we can see that just by seeing how those points were traced round. Now, we could also look at our rectangle that we've looked at in the previous videos and just see how that's been changed as well. And it might be good practice just to kind of convince yourself that that is what is going on. And we've rotated our rectangle around. So let's keep going. So that's rotation by 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. What about 180 degrees? So what would happen then? Let's get rid of these arrows. I'm going to have to put one down here. So this point here would rotate round to this point, And this point would rotate round to this point. OK, if we rotated by 180 degrees. So the point that is at 1, 0 would go to minus 1, 0. And the point that is at 0, 1 will go round to 0, minus 1. OK, so this must be a rotation by 180 degrees about the origin. Now, it won't matter if we go clockwise or anti-clockwise, so we can just leave it there. OK, so that is our rotation by 180 degrees. You might notice that it looks like the enlargement um, matrix except these both numbers are of course negative one and so what's effect what's kind of happening is that it is uh, the shape is being enlarged but back through the origin okay so kind of like when you had to do um, I don't know if you did at GCSE you had to do like an enlargement by scale factor minus two for example okay um, it would have like a, a similar kind of effect OK, so we've done that one. So last but not least, I guess, is a rotation by 270 degrees anti-clockwise, which is equivalent to just going uh, 90 degrees clockwise. OK. So you can either think of this as going all the way round, OK, or you can think of it as, well, this point moving to this one, and this point moving to this one. OK, so 1, 0 has gone down to 0, minus 1. And 0, 1 has gone to 1, 0. So this is a rotation by, uh, now we could say 270 degrees 
anti-clockwise or 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Okay, likewise you could say that that was a rotation by 270 degrees clockwise, if you prefer. Okay, and so these represent three of the uh, more important rotation matrices. And as I said, in the next video we're going to see how we can form a matrix that will allow you to rotate um, these coordinates round uh, to any degree.